Hello there everyone, this is another day of progress on my indie game Cakes TD. I set out to make a particle editor, because it was quite difficult to design the particles using code. Adding a button to my level editor that you can access through the level. Oh looky looky over here, the poison cloud. Click this button. Yeah that's a particle editor, looks like shit. But doesn't matter, I was feeling very productive today, so I started smashing code line after code line. You can call me Dr. Fivehead. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be great. This is my first iteration trying to create a drop down menu. Next iteration already looking much better. Instead of buttons, I just draw the sprite ID in a fixed size. Then I quickly formatted the list to hold more than one sprite per row. Looking much more compact now. Quick pit stop. Look what I have. I have schnitzels. At this point, I was about halfway through my stream, so I needed a food break. But feeling energized by more schnitzels, I started adding in the data fields of my particle emitter. Oh yeah, and I also added scrolling to the list, of course. Would be a problem if I couldn't click those sprites at the bottom. This is one of those days where you just code and code and code a lot. After a while, I had my first field, the emit rate, but nothing was spawning. Would you look at that, emit count is zero. God damn it. At this point, I was starting to lose concentration and got very impatient. Think! Actual render dog time. Double click, you dumb fucking idiot! Ooh, look at that. Should be in zero to run range. Hmm, nice. And there we go. I found it. At this point, it was easy. Change some five hatch stuff in my engine. Oh, yeah. This was a day of progress on my game, Cakes TD. At this point, I want to thank all my Patreon supporters. Thank you very much for supporting me. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment or a like. If you want, watch me on Twitch. Okay, see you in the next one. Peace.